a week ago, with the first documented cases of Zika being contracted from local mosquitoes in the U.S., a small blood center headquartered in Miami called the United States Blood Bank brought its operations to a halt. Its eight mobile blood collection vans taken off the road, roughly 300 units of blood quarantined. It did so at the request of the Food and Drug Administration. The FDA recommended that all Miami-Dade County and Broward County, Florida blood banks cease collecting blood immediately. The FDA has also ordered blood banks outside of Florida to not accept blood donations from anyone who's traveled to the Miami area for at least four weeks. Now, hoping to avoid a blood shortage in Miami, some larger blood banks have already implemented a new screening process using one of two unapproved lab tests on an investigational basis to detect Zika virus. One blood, which collects 3,000 blood donations daily in Florida, Georgia, Alabama, and South Carolina, is now screening all donations for Zika. It got the testing technology quickly and started Zika screenings last week. This test goes a long way uh, to, towards greatly preventing the likelihood of transmission of Zika through blood transfusion. Blood banks allowed to use these tests must submit the data to the FDA and obtain consent from donors to use the test on their blood. U.S. health authorities are treating Zika as an urgent public health concern, trying at once to reassure people that the virus in the U.S. is still not widespread, at the same time trying to prevent it from becoming so. One problem, only 20% of people who are infected with the Zika virus show any symptoms. But the asymptomatic can still transmit it, with blood donations being an obvious potential conduit. Blood donated in the U.S. is already tested for West Nile, HIV, hepatitis, and other infectious diseases. According to Blood Bank's CEO, the test for Zika will add around $8 to the cost of processing each unit of blood. The American Red Cross says that of the over 80,000 samples tested to date in the mainland U.S., not a single blood donation has tested positive for the virus. In Puerto Rico, where Zika infections are far more widespread, positive tests in the blood supply have reached almost 2%. United States Blood Bank says it expects to receive FDA approval for Zika testing and get its vans back on the road again soon.